there's these kids at this elementary school, and there's black and Hispanic kids at the school, first of all, before I kind of get into this, there's black and Hispanic kids at the school, and apparently, already, there is some tension between these black and Hispanic kids. Anyhow, one of the Hispanic kids was apparently trying to take this water cooler and put it up onto something, and he accidentally dropped it and spilled some water, something along those lines. Well, as punishment, the vice principal, who was black, African American, decided to punish these Hispanic kids, not just that one kid, but all the Hispanic kids apparently in that class, which were 15 kids, by forcing them to eat their lunch on sitting on the ground using only the paper part of the tray. Like you get the plastic tray, then you get like the paper lining. They're only allowed to use the paper lining, but again, sitting on the floor. Whereas the African American kids were allowed to sit on the table uh, and eat, you know, normally as they would during lunch. That was their punishment. Well, one of the teachers uh, ended up finding out and he told the parents, hey, you should sue for this, and seven of the 15 kids ended up suing. One of the statements that was made from the lawyer who was representing these uh, kids said that the African-American kids were eating at tables with trays, taunting these Hispanic kids who were forced to eat on the ground. Okay, they won the lawsuit. Which is good. But what really, really gets me mad is the vice principal, the black guy, who was responsible for this. He wasn't fired. He wasn't fired. He wasn't demoted. All it says in the news article that I read was that he was transferred. From what it seems, it doesn't even seem like he was even forced to transfer. But how it was written was just that he just decided to transfer. Too much heat at that school. That's how it made it seem. But anyways, the main part is that he wasn't fired. So, let me, put, let me put this all into perspective. This black vice principal forced 15 Hispanic kids to eat sitting on the ground while he allowed African American kids to sit at a table and eat regularly. Nothing happened to this black principal except for maybe he was transferred to another school. And again, not fired, not demoted, not arrested for any crimes, nothing whatsoever. So, you know, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. I want... You. I want someone out there to tell me. Imagine this was the other way around. Imagine it was a Hispanic vice principal or a white vice principal. And that vice principal forced some black kids to eat while sitting on the ground. While, say, Hispanic or white kids sat on a table and they verbally taunted them. You tell me. Because I don't, I don't want to assume. I want someone else to tell me. What would happen to that uh, white or that Hispanic teacher for forcing black kids to sit on the ground and eat their food? You tell me how enraged society would be. Would you be hearing this on the news? Would you be hearing people holler racism and so on and so forth? You tell me, because I don't want to assume. Somebody tell me that if this, this situation was different, with different races, and it was the black kids being uh, tormented in this case. You tell me. Somebody out there, please, you tell me what would happen.